Astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams landed back on Earth on March 20, 2025. They had spent nine months aboard the International Space Station. Their journey began on June 1, 2024. The astronauts blasted off from Cape Canaveral, Florida. This mission was very important. It helped us prepare for future missions to Mars. These Mars missions could last almost two years. This is a long time to be in space. The human body changes in microgravity. Wilmore and Williams's mission will help us understand these changes. Their data will help keep future astronauts safe. The journey to Mars is challenging, but the rewards are great. Imagine floating in space. It sounds fun, but it's tough on your body. Fluids shift upwards, your face puffs up, your skull pressure increases, which can affect your vision. On Earth, gravity pulls fluids down. In space, this doesn't happen. Your bones and muscles also weaken without gravity's resistance. To fight this, astronauts on the ISS exercise for two hours every day. This helps, but it doesn't fully solve the problem. Their hearts and blood vessels also change. Back on Earth, they have trouble regulating their blood pressure. Even their arteries age faster in space. The nine-month mission tested new medical technology. A compact ultrasound machine helped monitor the astronauts' health. It was much smaller than older models. The Canadian Space Agency also sent up their bioanalyzer. This amazing device analyzes blood, saliva and urine. It only needs a few drops. Artificial intelligence is also changing space medicine. AI programs can help diagnose and monitor health conditions. This is important for long missions. On Mars, astronauts will be far from Earth. They need to be able to take care of themselves. AI can help make this possible. A trip to Mars will be humanity's greatest adventure, but it comes with unique challenges. Communication with Earth will be delayed by up to 20 minutes. This means astronauts need to be more independent. They need to be able to handle emergencies on their own. Astronauts will need advanced medical training. They might even need to perform surgery. This is why astronaut selection is so important. We need people who are not only skilled, but also resilient. They need to be able to handle stress, solve problems and work well with others. In the 1990s, Valery Polyakov spent 437 days in space on the Mir space station. He showed us that long duration spaceflight is possible. Now we are ready for the next step, sending humans to Mars.